So in this video, I'm going to tell you why I had to swap the motherboard of my Emotion V11. And if you need to swap the motherboard of your electric unicycle from Emotion, how hard it is and which steps you should take to get the job done and why you should have an official distributor, why you should purchase from them and not from China. If you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. <laughs> Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk once again about my love Emotion V11. I know it's a wheel that many of you guys had issues with the bearings and all those stuff, but it continues to be, for me, the most balanced wheel that you have on the market. Yes, they are going now for the batch four and they continue to improve and definitely when i start disassemble this one i found some stuff that i didn't like it maybe i will do another video about it but today we are going to talk about how difficult it is to swap your motherboard and because i was basically in the dark and i couldn't find any video about this i decided to do this because if you have this issue you know how to do it in the future and which steps you should take with your phone and talking with your distributor because it was not an easy task it took me basically two days to do it because you need to contact emotion to be able to solve your issues if you have an iphone my friends you need to find an android because at the moment that we are recording this video it's not possible for emotion to to connect to your wheel through an iPhone. When you need to swap your motherboard, is not like King Song or Be God, you definitely need to do the same as Segway. You need to contact them and they will connect to your wheel and basically turn it on. Because when you swap your motherboard on an Emotion wheel, at least on the V11 and I believe on the V12 and future wheels, you will need to contact them to be able to unlock that motherboard and saying that that motherboard belongs to this wheel at this moment. If you purchase from China and you have a problem with your motherboard, say goodbye because you will not have any support. So definitely use an official distributor. If you are in Europe, I will really recommend you to use my eWheel. Thank you, Andre, to be there for me because it was not an easy process. So the first problem that I found when I started trying to do this connection with Emotion to solve all this issue is that I couldn't find the wheel on my phone so the first thing that you should do is trying to reset your wheel so you turn off your wheel and after you stay pressing and you start hearing some beepings in that moment you don't take your fingers from there you will hear those beepings three times your wheel after will turn off by itself and after that you press once again you turn on and you should see your wheel on your um, mobile app from emotion after that you need to go on the diagnose. I have to say to you guys that I once again had an issue there. I will leave on the description below the version that solved my issue. So it's an older version and I definitely was able to connect. By the way, if you are enjoying this video and you want to support the channel and you love electric unicycles, I have my merch on the description below with funny phrases that just us electric unicycle riders will understand. And let's come back to the video. So after you have connect your wheel to your phone, you need to go about your vehicle you go there you do a print screen of all that information because you need to send to emotion and after also they want the voltage of your battery so you press after on the bottom where it's saying battery package detail you press there and you do a print screen of these two things you send to your distributor or if you have a contact from emotion you send to them and they will automatically have this information. Why? Because they need to know what is the serial number of your wheel and also how much battery you have and if the voltage is correct. So at this moment, if I was trying to do, they will see that my wheel is only at 75.1 and 75.2 volts. So they will ask me to basically have my wheel fully charged. So when you go on diagnosed and if you press there, it will say obviously in this case that my wheel is okay. But what you need to do here is you need to make it available for emotion to connect with your wheel. So you need to go here on the top on where it says diagnose, you stay pressing and you'll have this message saying, are you sure to enter the online diagnostic mode? Please use the function under the guidance of the emotion team so in that moment emotion is already in the other side waiting that you connect you press confirm and they are able to connect with your wheel i have a new motor yes i had to change my motor because of the bearings problems it was a first batch z bearings 
is still running that motor is not a problem but because i had to open completely the wheel i decided to contact emotion and ask them for a more recently motor and I have put also the bearings protection. So also thank you very much Vasily for all your patience to help me with that. After they connected to my wheel and they disconnected, I really thought that the problem was solved, but it was already lunchtime in the UK. So they was basically finishing the shift in China. So I couldn't solve the problem in that moment. And the person that was helping us was a new guy at Emotion. So he was not able to do it better. So we have to wait for another day and I needed someone with more experience is when Clark entered and was really patient and was able to solve the issue, but we encounter another issue. So when you connect it and you press confirm, you should see this message rotating and it was not coming this message. And I remember from the day before that I should see that message. I basically thought I'm going to disinstall the most recent version because the other guy from Emotion they asked me to put once again the most recent version it was not solving the issue when I was talking with uh, Clark from Emotion I decided to basically reset the wheel so try to do that first and if it doesn't work try to use the version that I'm going to leave on the description below and download and do the diagnose through that app if you are installing an old version or a most recent version definitely disinstall the old one or the previous one otherwise you're going to have some errors it was not a problem for me I have two versions of the Emotion app on my phone and it worked for me but I wanted to tell you what they recommend me to do by the way when we talk about the Emotion V11 motherboard you have two parts normally to do this process is when you need to change the bottom part of your motherboard so just to point it out that sorry guys if I'm with other clothes this is a different day but I noticed that I forgot to tell you why I changed the motherboard on my V11 and that is a very <laughs> funny story I was just going to pick up the wheel to go to work in the morning I wanted to see how many kilometers I had already on my wheel and when I pressed, I didn't notice that the gown of my wife was underneath the tire. So the gown went inside the tire, burning the motherboard. And that's why I stay without my V11 for a long period of time. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.